somebody ordered this from us and decided they didn't want it before they even touched it. So I decided I want it. So let's unbox it, see what it's all about. I already know I'm gonna love it. this before I even open it is because I actually already own the PSC 60 I own about three of them let's crack it open Oh damn, this thing's a beast. <laughs> now that's a charger right there. It's actually a power supply and a charger, but that's what I call a charger, I'll tell you what. So we got the control box, the display right here. We got a power cord, there's no bread twist on it anymore so maybe this thing has been touched. Same thing for this, this is the, uh, I believe it's the temperature cutoff. And we've got what looks like some four, four gauge wire maybe? got an Anderson plug and we've got the other side of the Anderson plug right here. Now it's hard to tell if this thing came with alligator clips or not. I don't know if they're missing or if it just never came with them or if you're supposed to do it yourself. I'm not sure so if you were to buy something like this make sure you find out beforehand but either way we got a well equipped shop and we have these over there already ready to go for other things. And of course, I got plenty of 4 gauge wire over there. Let's go reel some off and hook these alligator clips up. Dust me off some uh, 4 gauge OFC, if you don't mind, bud, while you got those cutters in your hand. Let's do red and black, some sky high. Yeah. Give me about, I don't know, six feet of it. Thank you, bud. Yep. Cool. So like I was saying, I don't know if it came with these or not, and that they're just not in the box because this came from a customer. It's a return, but we have it all here. We got some four gauge right here. We got some nice alligator clips, and we got the other half of the Anderson plug. We'll put those together real quick, and we'll go try this thing out.
looks good, bud. So I really like that they supply you with this little thing right here in case you want to mount this in the vehicle somewhere permanently and make it look nice. I usually use them outside the vehicle so I don't really need that right now but who knows later on I might mount it somewhere. Well, 14 and 16 volts charge recover and power supply if you've only got one battery maybe two you may not need something this large but my Tahoe has 10 batteries in it and all 10 of those batteries are 14 volt batteries so I definitely need a 14 volt charger and I definitely need all the amperage I can get split between that many batteries so it's gonna be real nice so this display right here simply plugs right here And this way right here it's not very important right now but if you're using this as a power supply you want to plug this in right here and put this on your negative battery terminal when it's charging it stops it floats and you can let it sit there forever and it'll just keep your batteries nice and charged up but when you're using it as a power supply this thing is just supplying and your batteries could get hot this right here on your negative terminal will tell it it's too hot and it'll shut it down. That way you don't catch your car on fire, you don't bloat your batteries out, so it's a nice little safety feature to have. But for just charging purposes, when you're using the charger, the IntelliCharger side, you really don't need that. So I know this isn't the most exciting video you'll see on my channel, but I had to unbox this thing before I hooked it up and show you guys what it's all about. There's only one more thing left to do, and that's to bring it over there and hook it up and turn it on. Got the Tahoe sitting over here lonely, all dusty, but always ready for action. 10 14 volt group 31 batteries here's just the front one there's nine more in the back and one thing you don't want to do is let these things die out so i like to keep them nice and charged and not just charged we put them on an IntelliCharger. so once they're full they'll float and it'll just sit here and be ready to go at all times so you can see my old trusty pse 60 next to the 90. this thing is just gigantic compared but the 60s put in a lot of time and worked great nonetheless. No problems at all. Running 10 batteries, actually charging 10 batteries. It's just this one will do it a little bit better. Make sure it was in 14 volt mode first. Oh yeah, 90 amps, we're charging. All the batteries are in parallel, so I probably could have hooked it right up to this battery. But I prefer to hook the clamps up to my alternators instead, because that's what they're all fed off of anyways. So that's what I did. And there you have it. We're charging. So the charge rate is going to be a lot less as they're filling up. Especially if your batteries aren't super dead, which these ones were not. It's always good to maintain your batteries. Don't let them die. That way when you do maintain them, you're not struggling. So it won't be long before these things are gonna to be topped off and floating and good to go. I can just let it sit here until I'm ready to use the truck again. If you wanna do stuff with your vehicle and not have the truck running, 
the power supply feature is a real nice thing to have. That way you don't drain your batteries out at all and you don't have to sit there and get choked out by the carbon monoxide and whatever else. So I love using that feature. But right now, we're just topping them off again and keeping them brand new and fresh. So when I go to start this thing up, it's always ready. So we'll give this just a few minutes. With this much power, it probably won't take too long to do. Should say full. As soon as they're done, they're topped off in about 15 minutes. And you can see the amperage is coming down. Voltage is still the same. These 14 volt batteries charge high. So if you're charging 12 volt batteries, you're gonna see 14.7, not 16.7. If you're charging 16 volt batteries, you're gonna see something like almost 18 volts. So that's pretty good. In a few minutes, it should say full. Got about 3.5 amps per battery right now with 10 of them in there. So let's get a nice slow charge. Alligator clips are doing great. Nothing's getting hot, nothing's getting warm. You know you've got a bad connection if you grab those things and they're hot or even a little bit warm. So it's a good thing. They're nice and cold. Do what they're supposed to do. So here's four more. And then of course there's five more underneath the vehicle. If you watch the video of the build, you'd know that. And you can always go back and look and see. 10, 14 volt D1400s, group 31s, nice and healthy. Alright, it's been a few hours, and here we are. So the cool thing is that these are not only just full, I can just leave it on this charger as long as I want, and it'll be this way whenever I come back. Ready to go at all times. So I know it's just a battery charger. It's actually an Intelli charger, but it's a battery charger. And it's not the most exciting video on the planet, but I figured I might as well unbox it for you guys since it showed up here. And I love these things anyways. Might as well show you what it's all about. And I'm out.